Hey guys, my name is Z and you're watching Here Miss Easy and welcome to a new video for design technology and today we have 1.6 which is electronic systems for DT core content and by the end of the lesson you should be able to describe 1.6.1 sensors 1.6.2 controlling devices and components 1.6.3 outputs so check out the pinned comment for all the timestamps but we'll move on now to 1.6.1 sensors and here's the roles of sensors in, in electronic system a sensor is affected by the conditions around it and they are good input devices because they can give an input signal to an electronic system and light dependent resistors is when when light falls on the sensing area of LDR its resistance changes and in the light the resistance is low so electricity flows and in the dark resistance is high so not much electricity flows and thermistor, a thermistor is a temperature dependent resistor and its resistance changes with temperature. When it is hot, the resistance is low and when it is cold, the resistance is higher. And some electronic thermometers use a thermistor, which is quite interesting. And as temperature changes, the system measures the resistance of the thermistor and turns it into a number displayed onto a screen. So I actually covered LDRs and thermistor in my GCS, IGCSE physics video. So I'll link it down to the description to check out more detailed um, comment and information. So we have 1.6.2 control devices. And here's the role of switches in, in electronic system. There are some other components that can be used to give an input signal to an electronic circuit besides sensors. Switch, or like single throw switch, has a button that switches between on and off. And it is a simple control device that you that user can operate to turn a circuit on or off to complete a circuit. Transistors, uh, a transistor acts like a tiny electronic switch. It has three connections and a small voltage at the base connection and turns it on and lets a larger current flow into the collector and out of the emitter. And it is useful in sensing circuits to amplify the small current you get from some sensors. A transistor is a semiconductor that acts like an electronic switch depending upon the voltage across the base and emitter. And a transistor can be made, made extremely small by etching them onto silicon uh, wafers known as silicon chips. And resistors. A resistor is a component that can be added to a circuit to change its resistance. This means it can limit the flow of electricity through part of the circuit. Resistors can be used to protect delicate components by stopping too much electricity for, flow, uh, flowing through them and to help control the flow of electricity around a circuit. Then we have 1.6.3, we have uh, the roles of outputs, buzzers, and LEDs. And in an electronic system, output devices are controlled by the system. There can be simple things like, uh, like, uh, like lights that are turned on and off, or complex things like computer screens that output a lot of information. Buzzers, they make a sound obviously, like they buzz. And buses can be used, useful in a sensing device to give people a warning that something needs their attention. And lastly, LED, light emitting diodes. They give out light when electricity is passed through it. And LEDs can be small color indicator lights or bright enough to light up a room in the house. Then we have some device advantage and disadvantage. Like LDRs, they are, they are inexpensive but they need to be positioned. Thermistor, they have low cost, but they need to they need careful placement to be effective. Switches, they, there's a wide variety available, but they may fail mechanically after high usage. Transistors, they can be easily improve the sensitivity of sensing circuits, but they can be destroyed by heat when soldering. And lastly, resistors, they are available in a wide range of values, but the circuits won't work if the, val if, if the, like, the wrong value is selected due to incorrect reading of the color code. And that's it for this 1.6 video for design technology. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And please leave a like and subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions or criticisms. And also check out my Instagram in the description for more daily content. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay safe and happy learning.